gentlemen, we are so delighted to join with Logan and Sabrina on this beautiful key afternoon, celebrating their love together, and we're happy to join with them in this celebration. We are told from the word of God in Genesis 2 verse 18, God said, it is not good that the man should be alone, but I will make him and help me. And so the Bible tells us that God took a rib from Adam, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And when Adam saw her, he said, now you are bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, you shall be called woman. And today, you both have decided that being together for the rest of your life is what you desire. And this is certainly a great beginning. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Our oh, Father in heaven, we thank you for this ceremony, another wedding ceremony, celebrating this wonderful gift of love. We ask for your blessing upon this ceremony. But as we seek to witness the joining of Lovin and Sabrina together in matrimony, that you will be endorsing this wonderful union and that you will bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those who have seek, you can be seated. Well, Lovin and Sabrina, you have decided that today is the day when you're publicly declaring your commitment to each other. And that is something excellent. I want you to know that you are doing that which God is pleased with. And so we are happy to join with you in this uh, public ceremony. Now, I want you to know that for your relationship to last, God must be number one. So I want you to put God First. in the midst of your wedding celebration, your marriage uh, celebration, your life together. God must be number one. So don't forget to pray and ask God for guidance in all of your plans and all of your decisions and all of your trials and difficulties that you will face. For marriage is not just a bed of rose. We all have flowers, but we also have thorns. So be prepared for whatever comes, but don't give up because God is in it, right? So read the word of God and talk to God. Remember that love is not for a few minutes or a few months, but love is forever. So you are loving each other, not part-time, but full-time. You're not loving each other for just a few months or years, but for the rest of your life. So tell yourself that this is what you've decided to do, loving all the other women. They're locked up forever. All the other men, Sabrina, they're locked up forever. You are going to be locked into each other in a, what we call wedlock. But this is a prison that you don't want to get out of if you love each other. So, in order for your marriage to succeed, you'll have to put God first, avoid getting involved with anybody else, care for each other, nurture each other, cherish each other, take the very best care of each other, and your marriage is going to be happy and successful. Remember that both of you are different. Different gender, different mind. Each one must be willing and able to have your own opinion and your own thought and idea. But always think about your partner. How will it affect your partner? Be willing to submit your own feelings and desire so that the other one can be happy. And if the other person is happy, more than likely you're gonna be happy too. But none should abuse the other. None should take advantage of, disadvantage of the other, or, or advantage of the other, and cause the other to be in disadvantage. Remember that each one is special, precious, valuable. So, Sabrina, big up this man. Make him feel like a man. Yeah? Uh, a lot of ladies are now putting down their men. Well, because some of the men not playing their role right. 
So, you know what, Lovin? Play your role right. Treat her as your queen. Love her and cherish her and nurture her, and she is going to blossom and bloom and exude all the precious things from her heart. And you're going to enjoy each other's company. And I want to wish for you all the very best as you take your stand together. Therefore, if anyone can show this just cause why these two may not be lawfully joined together, you now speak or forever hold your peace. <laughs> No one. I require and charge you both that if either of you know of any impediment or reason why you may not be lawfully joined together, you can now tell each other so that we don't go further. Anything to prevent any of you from being married? Alright, nothing. We're going to ask you a long question. By the way, who give it this woman to be married to this man? Daddy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Your job is finished. All right, I'm going to ask you a long question, Robin. And at the end of the question, you're going to answer, I do, if this is your conviction. Will you, Lovin Walker, take this woman, Sabrina, right to be your lawful wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will you love her, cherish her, honor her, and take care of her in the best way you can, so as long as you both shall live, will you? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> will you, Sabrina Wright, take this man, Lovin Walker to be your lawful wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, cherish him, and honor him, and forsaken all other men? Keep yourself unto loving so as long as you both shall live, will you? Yes, I do. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to ask you to keep after me, loving these words. I call upon these persons, repeat after me. I call upon these persons. You are present to witness. You are present to witness. That I love and walk up. That I love and walk up. You take you Sabrina Wright. You take you Sabrina Wright. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to. According to. God's holy word. God's holy word. And therefore, Sabrina, look in her eyes. And, and look at Sabrina's eyes. And therefore, Sabrina. And therefore, Sabrina. I pledge you. I pledge you. All my love and loyalty. All my love and loyalty. All right. Thank you so much. Your time, Sabrina. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. You're present to witness. You're present to witness. That I, Sabrina Wright. That I, Sabrina Wright. Do take you, love and walk up. Do take you, love and walk up. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to. According to. God's holy word. God's holy word. And therefore loving. And therefore loving. I pledge you. I pledge you. All my love and loyalty. All my love and loyalty. Thank you so much. What God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Lovin Walker and Sabrina Wright have pledged themselves together and have exchanged vows of commitment in the presence of all of us, upon the authority of God's word and the law of the land of Jamaica, as marriage officer, I pronounce you to be husband and wife.
we are going to ask you then to exchange that special gift that you have for each other, symbolizing your love and your commitment to each other. Thank you. All right, so go ahead, Lovin. You can put on that special gift on your bride's finger. It is your unending love that you're indicating that your love is for the rest of your life. She is precious and special, and there is no ending of your love for her. Right. Marriage requires patience and tenderness. So as you take your time to place that special jewelry on her head, you are saying that she belongs to you. And Sabrina, you have a special gift for your husband. You can go ahead and put on that special gift on his finger indicating that he's your man he belongs to you make it stop friend your love is unending you want some glue you want glue friend can keep you apart all right very good, very good. Very good. Uh, is there anything else you want to give all right. well i've always said to individuals that it's not a bad idea for the man to sign the paper before he gets the privilege. How about that? Or you want to do, you want to do that? All right. He says, love it, you're going to have to sign the paper first. <laughs> <laughs> All to do the sun ceremony which is a symbol of two lives coming together so we're going to find out who is generous and who is not so generous so they're going to pour together timely in that hourglass and to form a beautiful combination of the two colors so are you ready to go
is going to be a very important virtue. You're going to have to be willing to take time with each other because no one is perfect and no one is without fault. But as two persons work together patiently, cooperating with each other, then a great blend of two lives can be a reality. And when, with patience, with endurance, with tolerance, and with acceptance of each other, and God is guiding, there is no limit to the wonderful love relationship that they can have. If one would do it, it would not be as well. And that, it is, that is why it is important that in marriage, both persons are willing to work together harmoniously for the best result. If one does it, then it's also going to be too much work. But when two do it together, then it is not overbearing. And it will not destroy and deplete the energy of the other. Marriage requires that much patience, cooperation, and help of each other. And it is possible to live a wonderful life together when both persons are cooperating. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. Right. 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 Thank you so much. All right, thank you, gentlemen. You can uh, put back the table for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is my joy and pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Walker. We congratulate them, we congratulate them for making such important step and decision to be together. So the reality is that today they have celebrated on this awesome view in the valley they are ready to dive into a life of love and wonderful togetherness i have already done my part loving is the man of the hour I said that at a wedding there are some special things that the paparazzi are waiting for so i will leave that to loving to demonstrate his manliness so that those who want to capture those special moments can do so so loving it's it's over to you she's yours So, so, so. He's a real man, serious about it. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations, and I wish you best, Mr. Walker. Mrs. Walker, we welcome you uh, both to the very special position of being now. And I want to give you this certificate that says Mr. and Mrs. Walker on this special day, the 20th. 3rd of June. It's a bride's month. It's a special day. And I wish you all the very best. Congratulations.
indeed, indeed. So as Mr. Walker doing his family duty and putting his wife to be seated. Yes, indeed, indeed. It's they look lovely, not true. They look lovely, not true. I'm excited. I'm not nice. No food they go share. I'm not hungry, not true. Oh no, that's what I'm not hungry. Share for the food. Care about coming food. Can I say they're not hungry? Oh no, hungry, not true. But guess what? We are here because Mr. and Mrs. Walker decided that we ought to celebrate with them. So as we celebrate. about the day and then Mrs. Walker you're dreaming or you're awake Mrs. Walker, 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 Walker. Mrs. Walker yes you must get used to the name you know <laughs> you see the, the whole name you have it's you know, so freely you know really so heavy you now you see the walk you have much more weight because tonight and a walk you walk you know you're going to drop it like this yes you're going to walk tonight you're going to you know you're going to do this thing like it's right tonight but Mrs. Walker and I must tell you, tonight you're looking beautiful. But guess what? On my left is my co-host tonight, and she will also engage in us. So I'm gonna ask her just to take this moment and just to engage the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mommy. Mommy. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Oh. Is anybody hungry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not hungry because my tummy is full when I see the bridal party, my former co-worker, my co-workers over there, new faces, old faces, everybody, it's a pleasure being here this evening. Let's go, everyone, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 
to the little country, right? Yes. Down the middle? Yeah. All right. So, Mr. Walk, you're going to take your instrument and you're going to stick it at the tip of Mrs. Walker's cake. Just tip it at the tip, right? So, Mr. Walker, that's where you want Mrs. Walker? So, you just think I'm guiding where you want it to go. Just where you want it to go. Does it feel like. I just feel like. Back again. It feels right. Feels good. Feel like it's the full right, like the right size, right? Yes. I don't want to talk. I don't know what to talk. I'm talking about the cake. I don't know what to talk. We're talking about the what? The cake. But Mr. Walk is your cake now, right? So Mr. Walk is gonna put your hand on Mr. Walker's hand and you hold this instrument firmly into your feet. Now you're going to pull it, help to pull it up a little bit of water. On the tip, on the tip. Right, and then you want to put it back down a little bit. Bring your feet comfortable. Is it comfortable with water? Right where you want it. And you got the girl turn it on. You reach right there. Now at the count of three, you're going to cut this little water. Mr. Walker, get your children no distraction. It's where you lock out everyone with the walk, right? Some people are turning on a little, you know, they want to hear. So the count of three, Mr. Walker and Mr. Walker, you'll cut the something. After three, one, two, three. Give them a round of applause. So now you want, we want, you want to find out if Mrs. Walker's cake was well done. But we, you can't find out, Mr. Walker is sure. You're going to cut the part of it. And then you're going to lift it to remove. Now put it down there now. And you hear something, you can't put it. Sorry, you're a cake. You can't put it all you want. You see, she's there yeah, too. Let me try to see. Alright, Mr. Walker, wait a minute. Daddy Walker. Don't go too far. We're going to need to start this. If you have to try just so you tell me some things you need to prepare for. And like when you're corresponding, you see the first. You can't have Mr. Walker, you know. So you have to work it, work it, and you have to work it, work it, and jerk it, jerk it to get it all. You have to know how to twist and turn, man. You hear? Take your time, darling. Mommy, mommy, daddy, take your time, darling. What would you say, Mr. Bata? Take your time, too. Do you like to rush sometimes? Not directly, but sometimes you take it slow, right? So take it slow, slow, slow. Alright. So now, Mr. Walker, you're the interact enough cake is there to share for both of you. But we just don't want any regular feeding, right? Because it's 2024. This is what we're going to find four creative ways to feed your husband. Four creative ways. And Mr. Walker, you will be repeating four ways, but not the same way. How you do it? Your choice, not ours. We just want to see how you collaborate in doing this work. So Ms. Walker, go right ahead. Four crazy ways how to feed your husband. So the camera is here ready to capture the moment. We're gonna call, when you do the first one, we're gonna call one. You know, your time is when you're happy. Yes, go ahead. 
Everybody count. One. All right. Then now you have to. If you are waiting on you have to decide if you are going. We don't know. Two, you are coming in two man, two. Three, and the four one, Mrs. Walker, remember see I have Everywhere you can see the men. It's your body, you know. What yours is his, and what is his is yours. So you can be, you know. <laughs> oh Lord. We don't even want to marry that kid. All right. Come on, Sir Walker. Is it that you should create it sometimes? Fork go gone, spoon go gone, only hand we have left. <laughs> One. You all have the corner, man. You, you, get hand, you can use the hand in the palm of the hand because the plate mash up sometimes like tonight. Yeah. Alright. Two. For them to do the, 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 um, the drinking. Because the after is long working after drinking, and that's why it's the turn. Creative, yes, tired. It's 2024, we don't come lame and lame, we come well out sharp. We don't want that one. You want that one? You want that one? Blackhead, yes, man, show them some walk.
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Moon, and I'm the sister-in-law of the groom. And I was given this wonderful pleasure of standing by Sabrina's side today as her maid of honor. for bringing us all here today to celebrate this beautiful Lovin, Sabrina, you are both looking absolutely spectacular tonight. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Uh, I've actually known Sabrina for over four years. And I can remember the first time when Lovin took her home. I said to myself, she is one special girl. I've never said this to you before, Sabrina. And my reason for saying that was because you are the first girl that Lovin has ever taken on. <laughs> yes, and today you proved it, right? That you are indeed special. She's very gifted with her hands. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sabrina is a wonderful mother and she's also a great cook. Yeah. I would get pregnant again just for Sabrina to make me some chicken pasta. I should not it. Yes, so today I'm happy to be here and love and making Sabrina extremely happy and continue to be the loving and supporting partner that you are. So I wish for the both of you God's richest blessing. In life there will be challenges but I know that the love that you both have for each other Favor from the Lord. 
And today you have found favor in yes. God's eye. Amen. You know, the Lord has given us a beautiful day. Blessing when we get showers like that, you know. Yes. You know, that is a kind of blessing. And then the evening was cool. Yeah. And love it was still sweating. <laughs> you know why it was still sweating? Because for the first time, he's going to look at his wife in a legal, legitimate hey, legal, a legal, you know? legal, yes. yes. And this is one of the things that I, I may not, Sabrina has been praying about, no person might not know, but she, she wants this thing to happen. So sometimes the person might be living in a certain situation and they're praying and asking God to work with them. But I think, so was to the bold step that Loving Walker has made today and has chosen to come in to love this beautiful young lady for life. And may us who are present here be a source of support and encouragement for them. And I will say, close to long life, close to prosperity, close to peace, love, joy, and happiness. And when things get rough, just remember these days that listen, the storm is only for a moment. You know? I'm alright, I'm going there. The storm will pass. Yes. And your calm will come after. You see, one of the things Sabrina has I said this to my brother manager. If you love for loving and love and love for you, it is best demonstrated when things are not going well. That's when you can show that you love know what that grow. So it's not when things is nice and cozy and dandy and shanty and everything are going your way. You see? You can't say you love the person. Because what? Love will be tested. Love will be tried. And it will push you to your limit. And then, when you go to your limit, you have to turn to God and ask God to give you the grace. You know? That you need to endure. And ask Him to teach you how to love each other. And you will find peace and happiness. Flavors that you have never dreamed of will come forth. So, toast. Love you more. I have Deshaun and Trinan coming right now to give a toast to the parents. Put your hands together for Mrs. Trinan and she'll be giving a toast to the parents. Put your hey, 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 come on. Man. And I know we are having a lovely evening. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed my pleasure to express thanks for the parents, the parents of Mrs. Wright Walker, Mark, so that lovely gentleman that walked her down the aisle and gave his daughter to Mr. Walker, his name is Mark, and her mother's name is Miss Iris. Now, if it were not for Miss Iris and Mark, there would be no Sabrina here today. Am I correct? Correct, correct, correct. Am I correct? Correct. Right, so Mark and Iris, they came together and they created this beautiful woman that Loven has sitting beside him. And we have to give thanks to Mr. Walker and Mrs. Walker, Miss Shirley Walker, right? We have to give them thanks for their wash belly, Loven, right? And indeed, indeed, these parents, they have groomed him well. They have raised him to become the man that he is today. And I raise my glass to both parents, Miss Iris, Mark, Miss Shirley, Mr. Walker. I want to say thank you very much for creating two beautiful individuals who are now sharing one life together. 
and Pierce. Pierce to all of you. Cheers. 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 Come on, put your hands together for that. Keep put that. Where? Where do you mean? 
question I ask you. All right, so here's the next question. Hmm. Sorry. I'm sorry. Who is willing to take the risk?
Thank you, Mia. Thank you. 